since the last series, he's, his sort of status and wealth and luck has changed a little bit. It's been elevated slightly. Yeah, definitely. I think he's finally sort of where he wants to be. I think he's he's married the woman he loves. Yeah. Has loved forever. They've got a child on the way. Yeah. He's moved into uh, her house, made it his own, changed the wallpaper. Yes. Done Always a few, important. Done a few. Yeah. <laughs> bit of tinkering, uh, and uh, and things are apparently looking smooth and lovely. Um, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. But it can't last. No, can it? Of course. Can't it's last, episode no. one. Yeah. <laughs> the um, the big story, as we said there, uh, linking into the clip, was was who's the daddy. Um, the trouble is that uh, that I think in the books it was never properly resolved, was yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Uh, Winston Graham, the author of the books, leaves it ambiguous, I think intentionally. And also, you know, it's taking place in a time when you couldn't do paternity tests. No, you couldn't exactly. find out for sure. So no one would ever know for sure. Everyone has their ideas. Um, George is kind of blissfully unaware. He's sure that it's his. Yeah. He can't see any other alternative. Um, but Ross, Elizabeth, Agatha, they've all got their ideas. Um, and what's interesting about this series is that we're going to see a slightly, not softer, but more vulnerable side to him, I yeah. guess, which is not something we've seen before because, I mean, he is, as he says, he's the baddie, really. So, so this is a different side to him. And maybe is that because all his ducks in a row, he is with the woman he loves, he's got the status, he's not, instead he's not fighting now, yeah. he's just got to retain it all in that Place. I think that's definitely. I think he's got further, he's got further to fall. He's yeah. got so much that he wants that suddenly he needs it. We've got some wonderful new um, characters. So two young men, two uh, Demelza's brothers, yes. appear, um, and then Elizabeth's cousin as well, who we employ as a governess to look after her child. And there are kind of um, there's a kind of chemistry between some of them that pulls the Warleggins and the Podocks back together. Um, in That's sort of, yeah, dramatic ways. One of the other uh, great relationships is uh, is with George and Aunt Agatha mm. as well. Um, I mean that 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 you've said yourself. Those are great scenes. I love to them. Play. Yeah, I love them. I mean, I love Caro is amazing. Who plays Aunt Agatha? So it's a pleasure to work with her. But but I love that character. You know, you have you have this old old woman sitting in a in a creaky chair in a corner of a house. You think that would be harmless, mm. but somehow. She gets under George's skin almost like no one else um, and drives him mad. And he has to deal with her now that he's living in this house with her. Mm. So dealing with her and dealing with uh, Elizabeth's son, Geoffrey Charles, as well, um, from her first marriage, become really important to him. He, he has to smooth that because it's, it's causing him grief. How much time do you actually get to spend in Cornwall? Um, we, get, we, we basically do all the exteriors. Um, and um, and some of the houses we we spend sort of I think just under two months there. Because you're the, the townie, aren't you? So I suppose yeah, you would, would yeah. Else? I'm mainly mainly in in and around Bristol, yeah. um, sort of North Devon, Cotswolds. We go to beautiful houses. They would do a lot of studio stuff on the outskirts of Bristol. Mm. Um, so I do a bit. I do a bit. I had a wonderful day uh, last year on Holywell Bay on the oh, North Coast, beautiful. just sort of standing on the beach <laughs> on my own, which was wonderful. Um, but did they forget you were there? They forgot I was there. <laughs> yeah, 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 I was there all day. No, <laughs> it was a beach. long shot, so I was there, abandoned, <laughs> on this beach, and the camera was miles back. Oh, how lovely. Uh, but it was beautiful, yeah, but I'd love to have more in Cornwall. Mm. And the Pulled Up fans, are, uh, they, are, they love the show. I mean, it's Series yeah. 1. I mean, I, I think anybody predicted what a huge success it would be, and they are extremely loyal. They're very loyal. We're very lucky. They are amazing. You know, they've been with us since the beginning, and they seem to be staying. I hope they do. Um, but yeah, we're so we're so lucky, you know. Not everything, you know, has that level of luck, and yeah. so it's great. It's yeah. nice to be And then you, in the meantime, have to go through supermarkets with people saying that's that evil bloke. I tell you, <laughs> <laughs> I do, which is not what you want to hear. Is it? <laughs> you do. You're getting it right. Maybe.